Hey guys, so um, last week I swapped out my Note 5 for a Nexus 6P. Um, I'm just going to give a quick overview of what I like, what I don't like on the phone. Everybody already knows the stats on this phone. It's been out since September, um, just after the, uh, the Note 5. Uh, people were asking why did you swap it out well I've never had a Nexus product I've never had a phone come out with vanilla Android on it this came out with marshmallow um, I gotta admit this thing is uh, it's, it's beautiful really really nice really didn't notice any uh, slowdown with it um, this is not running right, so it's, hold on a sec. Okay, I know everybody's going to ask what I'm running as a live wallpaper. It's called Amazing Video. That's the live wallpaper. Basically, you click it. I'll just show you the settings. You go to settings on the bottom, video file. You pick any video that you have on yours. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose another one just for fun. Um, there's a timeline here, right? And you can shorten that up and whatever length you want you can click OK that's going to be the video that's playing in the background and you go set wallpaper and then you click the home button and there you go All right. so now your wallpaper is the video which I think is pretty cool I'm running Nova Launcher on the back people are going to ask that Nova Launcher okay so let's get back to the phone what I don't like about it, um, I don't like the button placement. They're almost right in the middle here, and that I don't like very much because a lot, of, most of the time, I don't know about anybody else, most of the time when I'm gripping a phone, I'm holding it like this, so I'm constantly pushing a button. Um, not so bad when it's off, I guess, but when it's on and I, I grab it, I'm sometimes hitting the power button, so if I'm watching video, it shuts down. Not that big a deal. Obviously, it's something that I have to get used to. Uh, the other weird thing, too, is uh, with the Samsung phones, I've always had the Note 5, um, or most of them have been a Note 5. I've had like three, three different generations of, uh, three or three iterations of the Note 1. I've had the uh, Note 3, 4, and 5. And I've all, you know, you get used to the, the physical home button on the bottom. As you see, this has no physical home button. So. You know, you gotta tap that or use the uh, fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor is super, super fast. Have never had any issues with it, but I just don't use it, so it's not even activated. It is what it is. I'm the only one who uses my phone, and I don't have a problem with that. Um, the other thing I don't like about this is the uh, recent apps. You have to manually swipe it out. But one thing nice about this, though, is that when you go to it, it doesn't have to reload the page like it does with Samsung products, right? All right, go to Facebook, and boom! It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to re-render the page. It's it's there. It's ready to go, which is nice. Three gigs of RAM. Um, I haven't really seen a slowdown or a hiccup on its phone. Uh, Note 5 has four gigs. This has three, but because it's vanilla, um, it's nice because there's no bloatware. Um, I know people say, yeah, but you can root and you can put, do this and put uh, a stripped down version of Marshmallow. Yeah, I get it. I mean, most of my phones, except for my Note 5, were rooted, rooted as soon as I get home and, you know, I've got a round ready to roll. Um, I just wanted a Nexus, Nexus product. The opportunity was there. It was a good swap out for me. And um, we swapped out. It's factory unlocked, so that's nice if, if and when I want to resell this. But uh, speed-wise, performance-wise, this thing is beautiful. Uh, the best thing I like about this is the front-facing speakers. This thing is just beautiful. Here's a video uh, trailer, right? Give me a smile. Okay, no smile. Don't ever smile again. So, how did you make your money? I exercise control in all things miss steel and you don't want somebody like me make the screen brighter okay. 
So, people say that uh, the speaker's crap, they don't like it, it's distorted when it gets to the upper register of the volume. I really haven't had any problems. You gotta realize that when people do recordings, whether it be videos or uh, professionally made trailers like that, not everybody has is, is using a standard, uh, maybe the pros are, but for amateurs, um, audio levels, the recording audio levels, not everybody records at the same level, so if one person is, if one video recording level inputs are higher than the others, obviously the playbacks can be different also, so my level 10 on one video is not going to be the same as level 10 on another video if, they were, if the input recordings weren't the same, make sense? So obviously the ones that are really really loud uh, recording levels for the input, um, yeah, when you crank up the volume on this, it might distort just for the fact that the recording levels were higher. So, you know, people don't take that into, into consideration with regards to the playback of this phone, but personally, this thing is awesome. So, that, um, that video uh, that I have playing here, it does distort a little bit because when you go into the portrait, but if you flip it to the side like this, that's how the video was intended, really, right? Landscape. And as you see, this thing is beautiful. Oops. And this is normal launcher that I'm using. Uh, the grid I'm using, people always ask that too. Seven across, nine up and down. And that's normal launcher. And just to show you again what video I'm playing in the back, let's go wallpapers live wallpapers and it's called amazing video amazing video I'm making amazing videos and basically you pick what videos you want in the background and uh, that's it um, the phone is super sl uh, super slick it's thin uh, still quite HD screen on here still knock the core chip camera I really haven't had a problem with the camera um, it doesn't have obviously as many features as the uh, Samsung line, but you know, I really can't complain. So it uses the uh, USB uh, Type C. Came with the charger, which is on the tip, is also the Type C charger. It came with two cables, right? Your longer cable, I think it's like a four foot cable or five foot cable. It also comes with a shorty. And this is pretty cool because it's a two point. It's a, I believe it's a two point oh USB to a uh, Type C little short cable. So that was pretty cool that that came with it. So you can plug it in your PC. Um, I also picked up two things. Uh, first one I already cracked it open. That's what it's called. You can pause it there. It's a USB two point oh to the uh, USB Type C. If you want to pause that, you can pause that. Um, and those cables came with two of them inside. One black, one white. These are the uh, six foot cables. So USB to type C. Same here. Got two of those. Both from Amazon. Um, and I also got the iVoller I Tupper glass, uh, 9H hardness. You can see right there, and I'm gonna hook that up right now because um, I got it. So I also have a couple things on uh, what do you call it? A couple things on Amazon here. So these are the two things that I picked up. That I just showed you if you want to pause it right that's for the uh, screen protector and that is for the two cables that I picked up I also have like an OTG adapter coming seven bucks right so that'll be to your USB from uh, USB type C that's coming from Amazon and from eBay I have a couple cases coming in 
Uh, don't have them yet. First one will be a soft mount TPU uh, silicone block case. And the one on the bottom is new luxury ultra thin soft TPU case coming. So I got two of those and I also have two other cables because the two cables that I just picked up now, they're 2.0 USB. I didn't realize that. And also these are um, the 10 foot cables that I like using all the time. Uh, USB 3.1 so the data transfers will be nice to your type C. So I got two of those cables coming in. But uh, in a nutshell, power wise, people are probably going to ask, how long does the battery last you? Um, I'm not using my phone as much as I as, as much as I used to. Um, personally, when I, when I when it's I get up a four I unplug. When I'm at work, I actually shut it off because you know unless I'm on a, I'm on break because I really don't use the, the phone um, while I'm working now. Um, so when I fire it up, you know by the time it's uh, seven o'clock at night. I'm still probably at about 40%. Uh, Power-wise, I really haven't had a problem. Uh, it does have some sort of quick charge on it. It's not like the Samsung ones, um, but it is an hour and a half from zero to 100, basically. Um, and if I do have a problem with power, I still have my uh, my power tube here, 5200 milliamp, you know, so. I, I did a video on this too, so um, that's it. So that's my Nexus 6P. This thing's great. So uh, yeah. Um, hopefully you like the video, and when my other stuff comes in, uh, I'll uh, do another video. Okay. Off to the next video.